Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Team Prodigy Soccer Series Episode 7 the finale this will be the last episode so of course i had to make it a banger for you guys we ended up getting the second seed so we played in the semifinals and then if we won that game we'd have to play for the championship back to back anyways now that everyone is caught up let's get into the finale video <laughs> So we do end up playing the blue team, which if you do remember, we did win against. It was 5-2, and it was the most intense game. Anyways, blue do start out very quickly with a good ball from the center back, but Jonathan is there. Blue has it in the center. You see some scissors, but then you already know Jonathan is going to stop that. Your boy finally gets the ball. I'm looking up. I look to have a shot, and trust me, it was a lot closer than you think. Blue again gets the ball. Blue is trying to beat Jonathan. He has a shot, but good hands from Dylan. It seems like Blue is all over the place with... Oh, we get lucky there. We now jump to the midfield with John putting on the Jets! And then what does he do? He... Okay. Jesse now has the ball. I'm calling for it. Jesse then finds me. I give a one touch to Eric. And the keeper saves it. And so the referee blows for the whistle and that is halftime with the score being nil-nil. Ah, this is too much for my heart! I told myself that I was not going to lose this game. <laughs> Oh, and I wasn't gonna. Aaron has the ball in the back. He finds me. I'm trying to turn. I see John on the right. He's making a run in, and he scores with his left foot again. Holy hell, this man is so sexy. Anyway, John has it again. He finds Geo. Geo takes it. He has a shot. Ooh. Blue has it in our half, and the referee calls for a foul for some reason, and everyone is just looking around. They take a shot. <laughs> We have some good defense from Jonathan. He actually wins it back. What is he going to do? He beats the defender. Oh, my God. He pulls it back. He finds John. What is John going to do? He scores! Blue has it in the corner. They find two making the run. He has a shot. And Dylan had it covered. Yeah, so basically, we did have some camera malfunctions. I actually had to walk over there to reset it. and uh, But they scored while the camera wasn't rolling. So, like I said, it is 2-1 to one right now. We are playing within the back and. Dylan, you made my butt hole crease. Blue does have a corner. He goes for the scorpion. Dylan gets the ball. I'm on a breakaway. He finds me. And it's just me. And Gio, what do I do? I give a back heel to Gio. What is Gio going to do? He puts it on his left. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. I just come dead. Dylan has the ball. He is looking for me. He throws it over the defender. I'm on a breakaway. Yep, I'm counting that shit. It's me, man. <laughs> and then right after my goal, the referee does call for it. And your boys advance to the championship game. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the championship game. Like I said, if we did win that first game, we would play the championship game back to back. And our opponents were the great team. And if you do remember, it was a draw our first time playing them. Even though we do have momentum coming in, we know that this will be a very difficult game. But nevertheless, let's get into the championship game for Team Prodigy Soccer Series. I start out with the ball from the back. I play it to Jonathan. Jonathan, he sends me a beautiful ball. <gasps> and then the keeper saves it. Gray has the ball at half field. Jonathan is playing some good defense. He flips it and then runs through Aaron like a freight train from hell. Gray has the ball in the back end. It seems like this is a lot of times that this happens in this series. Over the top through ball. <sighs> Leads to a goal. Again, Gray is putting on the pressure. He has a shot and an unlucky bounce. And they score again. Jeez, it just seems like Gray is just all over us. They have another shot. But what it could save from Dylan. Gray continuing the pressure with a good ball. But Dylan is there to save it. The ball finally comes to me on the wing. I beat the defender. I have a shot. i shoot it right at the keeper. And again, we have another over-the-top through ball. You would think that we have learned by now. But they score again, making it 3-0. We are down, but we are trying to fight our way back. We are trying to move the ball. Geo then passes it to Aaron. Aaron is going to have a shot. 
And the keeper barely saves it. I step up to take the corner. I find Jonathan. He has it at the top. He has a shot. And the keeper barely saves it. But the soccer gods were looking down on us because then we get a lucky, lucky goal, making it 3-1 because of Jonathan. Now, the viewers at home, you can look at this and judge this however you want, but I have never seen someone get away with running straight through the keeper while he has possession and then the, <laughs> us getting a yellow card. Aaron is absolutely furious. He does get a yellow because he is yelling and because he wants justice for his keeper and it could have led to a goal we luckily did not concede but of course then after that tensions were high since Aaron did get the yellow and our keeper Dylan is yelling because just the officiating is just terrible and um yeah so now we're down our center back and our starting keeper you're not doing anything everyone just shut the hell up let's go come on yes that is me trying to calm everyone down just saying shut the hell up jonathan and i we are trying to just calm the tensions down bring everyone back down to the level of the game and uh yeah luckily this is going to be the end of the half so we only lose aaron and dylan for about one minute but we're going to try to bring it back in the second half we knew that we were down so we had to put the pressure on with john having a close shot geo is fighting for possession it takes a lucky bounce to john it bounces off the defender and now the score is three to two gray have it in our half gray what is he gonna do he leaves a perfect ball You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth, and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knockdown. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. I, he was stumbling. They were four, three, two, he, one. And ding, ding, ding. Saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, yep, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's going to just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. The world was shocked. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to beat Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is and your why isn't strong, you're gonna get knocked out every single day. I get the ball on the side. I'm trying to hold it up. I see Eric making the run. I play it to him. Ooh. It's a scramble in the midfield. The ball falls to Aaron. What is he going to do? Oh, what a cannon. Gio plays the ball down the line to me. I try to take on two defenders. Then I try to cross it in. Oh. Jonathan has it in the midfield. None of the Gray are stepping to him. And it almost cost them. Gray have a breakaway on the side. And oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. But Dylan saves it. Jonathan then gets it on the side. He looks to have a shot, but no, it gets foiled. John comes in. He The game is coming to a close. We see Dylan again with some beautiful distribution to John. What is John gonna do? <laughs> <laughs>
the fucking Eagle Double G. And right after that, the referees do call for the final whistle, and Team Prodigy are your champion. And the reason why this win meant so much to all of us are for a number of reasons, but both teams that we played were talking so much shit, dude. Like, they were talking about our appearance, they were talking about how we were so much younger than them, and all this other shit, dude. Like, there was a lot of things that went down that I've not actually put in the video, but like I said, you know, I'd rather look 14 than look like I need Viagra every single morning. So now going into the Golden Boot Award, it is no surprise we have John in first place with 12, we have Geo in second place with 9, then we have me in third place with 6, and then going on down the line, we have a three-way tie with Eric, Jonathan, and Aaron for fourth, then we have Dylan and Jesse both with 2. Even though I think Jesse's goal should have counted, but... Nevertheless, John is the Golden Boot winner with 12 goals. John, you really don't win anything because CB Prodigy, dog, <laughs> we're on a budget here, buddy. So you just get bragging rights, brother. So, uh, yeah, congrats. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the Playmaker Award. You do have me in first place with 12 assists. Then you have Aaron in second place with five. And then get this, Dylan, our keeper, is in third place with four assists this man got three assists in both of our games in this video so that's actually insane but still moving on down we have geo with three then we have jonathan with two then uh jesse with two and then the rest of them only have one assist yeah so your boy does win the playmaker award with 12 assists six goals really not that bad of a season for cb this team by far was one of my favorite teams to play with you know everyone was locked in everyone was motivated and everyone just held each other to a higher standard which is the level that i love to play at but yes team prodigy are your champions it did look a little grim at the beginning of the season but i always knew that we were going to come out on top come playoff time nevertheless this is the end of the video you know team prodigy we had a good run it was a good first season we are the champions and uh this looks to be the end of Team Prodigy. Or is it? Hey, I swear to God, I never fall in love.